So I just want to thank Clumsy Cakes for joining me. We're doing a collab video. I am doing the vegan version of uh, <laughs> gummy bears. So for the vegan gelatin, we're using sea vegetable agar agar. This will act as a gelatin. For sweetener, I'm using more agave. I also have some elderberry, acai, some blue blue tea thingy thing. And this blue tea blender is amazing. I'll list her Etsy shop down below. I have some ginger tea, spirulina, some pineapple juice, and I'm also going to juice off some carrots. And then I have my gummy bear mold that just came in from Amazon. So let's make our teas and get everything all together. Alright, so we have our carrot juice, we have our pineapple juice, sugar. We have our butterfly um, pea tea, we have our green tea, which I'm going to add spirulina to partially, elderberry tea, and I'm just going to add one tablespoon or one to two tablespoons of blue agave. You can add whatever you want, and I'm also going to add one and a half teaspoon of your agra agra. Um, you have to heat up your liquid first, so I'm just going to measure out a fourth cup of everything, heat it up, and then we're going to make these into beautiful, gorgeous uh, gummy bears that are natural colors no additives, no food coloring, and yeah. I'm actually just using my measuring cup. Two ounces is fourth cup. You can also use a scale, um, but I like using my liquid measuring cup when I'm making a mess, which is normal. All that good old carrot juice just sitting on the counter. So this is two ounces. I'm going to heat it up, and then I'm going to add the agar agar, and I'm going to do this for every single one. A quick photo shoot of everything so you guys can see what it looks like. This is for my thumbnail, and this looks so pretty. It's a purple color, um, but I know if you add an acid, so like a lemon juice or lime juice, it turns pink. So I'm actually gonna do that. But yeah, guys, these are all the ingredients. I'm letting the carrot juice actually half of it is on the stove heating up, and then we're gonna add agar agar to it all and make our beautiful natural gummy bears. So after a couple minutes on the heat, I've reheated up the carrot juice. You can see it change in color. And we're just actually going to add this directly to our dropper, our, our gummy bear mold. Not our dropper. Using our dropper, um, you just want to make sure most of your, um, what is it called? Argar Argar is dissolved. You can see it, but this is very good. So I'm just, I added in one tablespoon of uh, what am I call it? What is this called? This stuff, <laughs> agave, and then I also added in a half a teaspoon of ginger powder because I love the taste of ginger. It's also very medicinal. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna drop it in there. So using our dropper, we're just gonna go right in there. We're gonna fill it up, and we're gonna drop it in our mold. This does not hold a lot. It's so cute. And then you're just going to repeat this until all of them are full. I might not even need all this liquid, to be completely honest. I'm only going to do three rows of this one. And then I'm going to fill, do the same process with all the other ones. And I'll be back to show you guys what the gummy looks like. But it's the same exact process. Heat your liquid up. Add one and a half teaspoon of agar agar powder a tablespoon to two tablespoons of your sweetener of choice and yeah that's all and then fill it up in your mold the mold and everything will be listed down in the description bar This one, I want to see you guys. I want to show you guys how to change the color of this because you see what color it is. And then we're going to do this in slow motion.
So for the clear gummy, they decided to use some of my hibiscus and rose water. It's super easy to make, and I'm going to fridge. use this to make my clear gummies. And, and I'm also setting. going to fill in the rest overnight. of them. They taste and smell just here. like hibiscus and rose. It is so flavorful. And then I'm the also going to use some jelly. of the leftover pineapple jelly. juice to fill in the, the extra. So yeah, I'm super excited to make this into the clear gummies. And then I'll show you. So you guys can see. They're so adorable and cute and jello -y. You can see the jello consistency. They're not too sticky, actually. And they're so cute. Look at it. So I'm going to take them all out and plate them. Look at them. They're so cute. These are the pineapple ones. They're so cute. So these are all the gummies. They're kind of sticking together, so I'm going to rub them with cornstarch as she suggested in her video, which is linked down below for those looking to make um, gummies out of Jell-O. Some Jell-Os, I think, are vegan. I would have to double check that, and I'll let you guys know down in the description bar, but these are what mine look like. Again, I'm using these for vitamin purposes. If you're, using, if you're looking to make a more gummy... I will put some other substitutes for gelatin down in the description bar below. Okay, we're going to go through the flavors. So this first one right here is a pineapple and carrot. The one following it is elderberry. This one next to it is carrot. This one's pineapple. This one is butterfly pea flower tea with key lime. This one below it is the butterfly pea without key lime. This one is my rose water, hibiscus water with a little bit of um, agave. This one's spirulina. This one's just green tea. And this one is elderberry. And those are all of the flavors that I created. And they look so cute. So in regards to flavor, my favorite two ones are the butterfly pea well, the phase three, um, the pineapple, and the elderberry. I'm going to try the green tea one now because I didn't try it yet. And then I'll let you guys know. Yeah. So these four right here are my favorite. The other ones are just from medicinal, like medical... Not medical, but for vitamins, because, you know, you need to consume them every day. The best place to store these are in the fridge. Um, I'm going to dust mine with a little bit of cornstarch so they don't stick together and a little bit of sugar. Um, but, yeah. That's how you make vegan gummy bears. They're not super gummy, but they get the job done.